Well, COP 1000 class. I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how to open, create, save, and submit an, a, an assignment using uh, Visual Studio's Enterprise Edition uh, 2017. It really doesn't matter uh, which edition you use. So I'm going to start a, a, a new project. I'm going to name my project My Project. I'm going to call it February 15th because that's today's date. Now, notice right here under location that says where will this project reside. For now, I'm going to just place it on my desktop. Probably not the best place to do it, but that's where I'm going to put it. And I am going to say OK. Now I'm going to come over here under source files, right click, say add new item. I will select, make sure it says Visual C++, C++, and down here on the bottom, is the name of your actual source. So this is my source document and you must give it a .c extension. I'm going to say add and now I'm actually going to be inside of Visual Studios ready to create my first project. So one of the first things you might want to do is to create what I call a header or a comment header. So this is what I would like on top of all your code. Your name. And along with your name, maybe something like date written. I like that. In addition to that, one more part of your comment header. Purpose of the program. And that's basically what I would like on the top of all of your code. You don't need the asterisks, I just think it looks nice. Now, the next line, you should put this in every single thing you write. What can we type? So this, this line allows you to use just the plain old scanf of scanf underscore s. The scanf underscore s is like a Microsoft Windows thing, uh, and you don't really need it. Now, next, you need to do your includes. And you're typically going to have two of them. And then finally, you don't need to do this, but I like to. Define a constant. That constant is going to be named pause. And all I'm doing is an alias for system pause. So the screen will stop uh, after it runs so I can read the output. 
And a little friend of that, let's clear the screen. So I'm going to do that now. You might want to do this in every code you have. Now you have it everywhere you work. So that's my beginning of my program. Then I'm going to have main. And notice I did not use int because it's optional. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say a comment after the closing brace or what we jokingly call a mustache. And then in here, there's your code. All right, so let's assume this is done. Uh, I can run it, test it, and I'll run it just for the heck of it. So to run it, I just hit the little green triangle. It's running, it's running. It's going to do nothing but say press any key to continue. No, it's not, because I forgot to do the pause. Let's do that again. Now it's going to say press any key to continue. It didn't say pressing key to continue because there's something wrong with this little installation. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just say file exit. And I'm back here in Blackboard hypothetically. So what I want to show you is out here on my desktop, on my desktop is that project I just created. So this is the project folder right here. When I open it, I'm going to see another folder called project, same name twice. And in here, you'll see your C source. This is the document that you give me in Blackboard. This guy right here, the one that says C source, and it's hidden a couple layers in. So let me show that to you again. Let me just get out, I'll do it again. See, it's right here. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go in Blackboard and I'm gonna pretend like I'm submitting those. So let's assume that I'm doing an assignment in the course as a student, and I am turning in the grades assignment or the, uh, the, uh, the name assignment, hypothetically. When I'm done typing this, I'm going to come here and say Browse. I'm going to browse my computer from where I placed that document or that project folder, which was in my desktop. Here it is, in my desktop. And in my desktop, there's my project folder. And inside of there, there is the source, the C source right here. I say click and open. And what happens is it's attached right here in Blackboard. It's attached in Blackboard. It's attached. Here it is. Down here, I hit submit. And that's how you create and submit a document in Blackboard. That's all there is to it. Thanks.